Wizard's Toolkit is now available on Docker, and here is how quick and easy it is to build a Engine X, PHP 8.1, MySQL 8.3, and PHP MyAdmin Docker environment. With Wizard's Toolkit, the low code development environment for PHP programmers completely installed. It even includes 60 SQL database tables for full user management and tracking reports, report counters, errors, etc. All right, this actually takes a couple of minutes and we'll have a fully working environment. First, let me show you that I have nothing in the Docker demo folder and I have no images or containers currently in my Docker. We're gonna start from absolute scratch. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna, from the Docker hub, I have all the instructions right there just copy, pulls it down pretty quick. It's under 30 meg. And then we're going to run it. Now we look back at Docker, we'll see there it is. It's 26.82 megabytes. And this will start it as a container. It's a very simple container, but there it is. And now we're gonna extract all of the files that are within the container into this folder. The CP is copying it from the container. And now that we have that done, we no longer need it here anymore. So I'm gonna actually delete this container. In fact, let's delete the image too. All right. Because now what's happened is we can look in our folder and that cp command, Dr. cp, extracted all these files. Here's the entire website. And here is the Docker Compose. So it's a Docker within a Docker. Now, some of my clients like MySQL, others like PostgreSQL, so I have a Docker Compose for MySQL, the default, and then also a separate Docker Compose PG for PostgreSQL. Wizard's Toolkit is fully tested on both, works equally well. The SQL folder contains all the files necessary to set up the database for MySQL or for PostgreSQL, depending on what you're using. And PostgreSQL, by the way, automatically runs these scripts, whereas MySQL, you have to do one extra step. So we're gonna do that now. We just did this one, and now we do this. If we look inside, this is just doing a Docker Compose build, and then Docker Compose up dash D, but I like to do it as a script and it's actually pulling everything down right now because if we look at this we see here's the actual compose file here's a MySQL database and you can easily change this to any other version that you want here's the default MySQL root password but of course you should change that for your own environment Here's the engine X, depends on the database. And of course it's pulling from the engine X con config file, which we can look at here. And notice it says the root is an app public. And the beauty of that is that way it points here and you can just jump in here and you can start editing the PHP. And any edits you do, will be there immediately. Going back here, below that we see the PHP. We're saying the container names. It has a Docker file. It has environment variables. And then the PHP MyAdmin, which if you want to remove that, you just delete it and it's gone and you rebuild. And then you have a Docker container without the PHP MyAdmin. If we look at the PHP Docker file, here it's pulling in the 8.1, 8.2, 8.3, 8.4, 8.5, 8.6, 8.7, 8.8, 8.9, 8.10, 8.11, 8.12, 8.13, 8.14, 8.15, 8.16, 
FPM for the PHP version. You can easily change this to any PHP version you want. This has been fully tested on 7.4 and a few other versions. It's adding PDO, copying the config file, and all that fun stuff. All right, let's go back. This is already finished. It took about 46 seconds from my previous test. Now we want to load up the MySQL. This takes about six seconds and it's done. Now, if we go to 127.0.0.1.8080, when you're doing MySQL and PHP MyAdmin, it wants you to use that, the container name. So we put that as the server and then root and then your password. And here is the database. It includes some views. It also includes some functions and some procedures. This helps with the multi-languages and it has a whole bunch of great features. The uh, contact icons is extremely useful. It does include some lookup data. So you don't need to add this yourself, such as security levels, yes, no, things like that. Uh, all the United States are in there. So for if you want a drop list where somebody can choose what state they're in, it's already done for you. When you uh, first install Wizards Toolkit, it comes with some DevOps utilities. We'll ignore these other ones for now. We're just gonna jump right in. And you can set up your database, your variables, your email configuration, SMS. We're gonna go for setting up our default password for our admin. We'll tell it to remember the password. And we are now in. This is 100%, as you see, our Docker running. We have the PHP 8, MySQL, PHP MyAdmin, and your Engine X web server. So everything is working great. Here we can change some things that we wanted. Vader. You can report a bug and this would automatically be emailed. And this is why the email configuration is good, is important. You put in your tech support email and then it will automatically email tech support if somebody wants to make a recommendation on how to improve your app. You got reports. This is using that SQL that I was talking about where it will allow you to just click this and it will allow you to email the person. We put in a phone number. Then it puts in a way to either SMS them or call them directly. All right, let's log out of this. Let's go to admin. The admin is the back office where you can change things. I will make it Dr. Demo. You can set up your email templates for your welcome when people register, which toolkit includes registration and forgot password features. Here's the lookups. So if we want to say, let's look at USA States, there they all are. And importantly, it has update logs. So here we can see that Luke Vader changed the company name from your company to Docker Demo. He also added a phone number. He also changed his name. You can also see every web page that I have logged into as Luke Vader which gives you a whole bunch of extra features and capabilities. There's no errors. 
and access fails tells you if anybody has tried to hack into your website. Now if we log out, go back in here, now it says welcome to Docker Demo because we changed that as a company name. And of course, if I change this to show responsive design mode, let's make it as a that one. This is how it would look on a phone. All the web pages are ready for phone use. Including the reports. The reports are a very powerful feature in Wizards Toolkit, uh, but you can check some of our other videos to see that, uh, to see how those work based on Simple SQL. So let's say we wanted to change the theme so we don't have the same color theme as everybody else. There are other videos on how to change your color themes and set up your data, but I'll just give you a 30 second preview. See how it looks in light or dark mode. And up here, it's immediate. So you can see exactly how it's gonna look if you change it. Including the background colors. So all the major features are available for changing the colors. But go ahead and check out one of our other videos to see how that works. However, I'm, I am gonna change our theme to sky dark. So let's do that really quick. Go in here, HTML. Spa, single page application, and change from blue to sky dark. That easy. And now we're in sky dark. And all the pages have changed. That's the whole demo. Download Docker and check out the Docker environment right now. Have a great day. Subscribe for more on the business of programming.